Let's start by understanding two important braking concepts, kinetic energy and friction. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object in motion. Take, for example, these moving blocks. Their speed and weight combined give them kinetic energy. A heavier block will possess greater kinetic energy. Similarly, a faster moving block will also possess greater kinetic energy. Now, it's important to note that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted from one form into another. So, how do we slow our moving block once it's in motion? Well, we can convert its kinetic energy to heat using friction. But what is friction? Friction is the resistance an object experiences when one surface moves against another. As you can see, our block is now sliding along the floor and friction is converting its kinetic energy into heat energy, slowing the block and eventually bringing it to a stop. A heavier or faster moving block possesses more kinetic energy. This means that more kinetic energy is converted to heat as friction slows the object. Now, let's take a look at a light vehicle braking system. At the front of our vehicle, we have disc brakes. They use calipers to squeeze a pair of brake pads against a brake disc, creating friction. The friction generated converts kinetic energy into heat, slowing the wheel. Some vehicles have disc brakes on both the front and rear wheels. But in our example, we have drum brakes. Drum brakes contain brake shoes. Friction is achieved by pushing these shoes against the surface of a rotating drum. Again, the friction generated converts kinetic energy into heat, slowing the wheel. Both disc brakes and drum brakes are controlled by a hydraulic system. When the brake pedal is pressed, hydraulic fluid is forced through hydraulic lines, activating the brakes. Rear brakes can also be controlled by a parking brake to hold the vehicle whilst parked and for assistance on hill starts. And that's the basics of a light vehicle braking system. Remember, vehicle brakes are safety-critical components, making a well-maintained braking system essential to all of us.